morning, everyone. Got my Bible here. Check this out. Isaiah 55, 11. It says, the same thing is true of the word I speak. This is God talking through the prophet. They will not return to me empty. They will make the things happen that I want to happen, and they will succeed in doing what I want them to do. Now, check this out. I want to talk about that for a second because I want you guys, and this is why I do this, because I, I think we should all be reading the Word of God. I think we should all be putting God's Word into us. And I think sometimes we're kind of lazy. I think some of us haven't picked up the book since we graduated from school. I mean, I graduated Home Sistine High in 1987, go Broncos, but uh, I think a lot of my fellow Broncos haven't touched a book since they graduated 10, 20, 30 plus years ago. So that's why I kind of like try to spoon feed this, these, uh, these little words of God to you every day. And there's reasons for that because sometimes we're looking for a sign, we're looking for a sign up in the sky and God's already given you all that he's trying to say in his word. So why would you look up in the sky if you're not looking down in his word? And God's word can prosper what it wants to prosper. And I think God wants to prosper you. I think God wants the best for you. Just like if, you know, those of us that have kids and so forth, um, don't we want the best for our kids? Why wouldn't God, a perfect father, want the best for us? So, I mean, God's word counteracts all the negative stuff that's been said against you by imperfect parents, imperfect teachers, imperfect friends. It counteracts that. God's word says to us the things that the world isn't saying. It says to us, relax, relax. Don't be scared, don't give up. It's God's word says to us, listen, I got this. The battle is mine. Your plan ain't working anyway, trust me. God's word tells us, don't run, don't be scared. God's word tells us, serve while you wait on your blessing. Help others so you take the focus off yourself. God's word tells us, look, wait, and watch what I'm going to do on your behalf. You need to get God's word into you, just like I do, because we got all this negative stuff being pounded into us. We had this horrible tragedy this weekend. And you know what that does? That takes away our faith in humanity. Yes, humanity is flawed. This world is a mess. But do you know how we fix it? There was a song by Michael Jackson. You start with the man in the mirror. You start one person at a time. And you start by putting God's word into you so that you can start to get in agreement with God. God made you to do good things. Not to just suck up air and wake up and go to sleep like a gerbil and wait to die. No. You were put on this earth for a purpose, to do something great, to be a hero, to be a mentor to somebody. So let's start getting into God's word, even if it's just through these messages. And for those of you that are near Homestead, some people have been asking if I've got services in English. I don't, but I tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. Let me know you're coming, and, I bet you they'll, and I'll bet you I'll do it in English. I'll be doing on-the-fly translation, okay? So if you're really serious about coming to my church, you know, instant message me. I'll make it happen, all right? That's how serious I am. I'll go as, I'll run the mile with you if you're willing to do it, okay? I'll go that extra mile with you. I believe in each and every one of you, okay? God bless you all. Get in God's word. Put a little bit in you every day. Share these messages. Thank you so much.